hey guys what is up welcome back to my channel so for today's video we're gonna do a very beautiful Deepika Padukone inspired makeup look so let's get started so I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows first and the picture as you can see she has very feathery looking eyebrows so I'm just trying to get that effect I'm using the ABH brow freeze and this stuff is so good and then I'm going in with my ABH uh, dip brow pomade and I'm just filling in my eyebrows and making them as thick as I could because her eyebrows are really thick and really beautiful and then I'm gonna set my eyebrows in place using this eyebrow gel and then to prime my face I'm using this makeup by Mario Fashion Fair primer she had a really nice glowy skin and this primer is just so beautiful it gives me that really perfect beautiful glow from within kind of a look and it feels really good and luxe on the skin so I love using this and then for that extra extra glow I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood flawless filter and this stuff just is so good it gives me that beautiful glow but I also feel like it blurs my skin it gives me that really filtered sort of a look so I'm adding this on the highest points of my face and then I'm gonna blend it out using this a really nice brush from NYX and this is such a good brush to blend out your foundation, concealers, contour, it's an all-rounder brush but as you can see my face looks so beautiful with that flawless filter. My foundation I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Filter and this foundation is so super duper full coverage it's beautiful looks beautiful on the skin i love wearing this for special occasions and this just hides everything on my face it's so beautiful and to blend up my foundation i'm using this bk beauty number 101 foundation brush and this brush is so good it's a perfect size to blend out my entire face and it takes me like 10 seconds and then for my concealer, I'm using my favorite Hourglass Concealer. And this when I first used it, I felt like it just uh, creased a lot, but I believe I didn't use it the correct way. So I just used it on wherever I want to conceal and highlight, and it just looks beautiful throughout the day. And then to blend up my concealer, I'm using another one of those BK Beauty brushes. And all the brushes are so amazing, very good quality. And this is perfect to blend out your concealer. It fits really nicely in that inner duct area and it's just really nice. And then to contour my face, I'm using this Merit Beauty. This is a foundation, but I got it in a darker shade to contour. And this works beautifully as a contour. I love the undertone. It's super creamy. And I just, I'm obsessed with this brand recently. I want to try literally everything they have. Blend it out using this Morphe brush. It's again one of my favorite brushes to blend up my contour. And it's really nice for uh, cream blushes as well. And then for my blush, I'm going in with my favorite. This is Makeup by Mario. And these blushes are just so beautiful. I love them. They just give the most gorgeous glow. And then to set my face, I'm using my airbrush uh, setting powder by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm just gently pressing this on my under eye. And this is going to set and lock my makeup in for the rest of the day. And then for my highlighter, I'm using this one by Jaclyn Hill. And if you have never tried out her makeup, it's very underrated. I feel like I've not seen a lot of people talking about it, but this highlighter is just gorgeous. And then moving on to the eyes, I'm using the same concealer to conceal my eyelids. And then I went in with this um, e.l.f. eyebrow and eyeliner 2-in-1 product. It's in the deeper brown shade. I'm using this to carve out the ring shape because I didn't want to go in with the black because once you mess up, it's really hard to take it off and everything. So I'm going in with the brown to really carve it out first. And then I'm going in with this nude stick eye crayon it's in the black shade and this is so black and very creamy the reason i love using this because it's very easy to move around it doesn't settle into one place and it's super black and this does not budge 
and I'm gonna take a little bit on an angled brush to really carve out the wing shape and also to get into that little areas where the pencil cannot go and with my makeup by mario masters matte palette and i'm taking that matte black shade and i'm setting that all that crayon in place so it does not move Then I'm gonna give my lashes a quick coat of mascara. I am gonna go in with falsies later on, but this is just to prep my eye eyelashes so that they merge in with the falsies. And then I'm mixing these two brown shades and I'm gonna run that on my lower lash line just to give it a little bit of something because it was just looking too naked, so I wanted to like balance it out. going in with my pillow talk lip liner this is in the shade medium and um for my pictures whatever i could like get i felt like she was wearing something similar to this color and this is beautiful it works on all skin tones and then i'm going in with my pillow talk lipstick and then i'm topping it off with the pillow talk lip gloss and i genuinely love this lip combo it looks beautiful and that is it for the entire makeup look i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys next time bye